The story of Robert the Doll begins with his creation in 1904 in Germany by the Steve Company. He stands a little over 3 feet tall wearing a sailor's uniform to this day, believed to once belong to his future owner, Robert Eugene Otto, from whom the doll gets his name. And we will call him Jean, to clear up any future confusion going forward in this story. In 1906 in Key West, Florida, Jean was a 4-year-old boy who received Robert as either a gift from his grandfather, who purchased a doll from Germany, or received it as a cursed voodoo gift from a young girl of Bahamian descent, who harbored ill will towards Jean for some unknown reason. Jean loved his doll Robert so much so, he took Robert to bed with him and got Robert his own wardrobe, even taking Robert along with him anywhere he went, from parks to shopping and trips, they were inseparable. After a while however, Jean and Robert's relationship would start to strain, as things in Jean's room would be hurled across the room damaging walls, toys, and other items would go missing or get broken, furniture in his room would be flipped over and every time, Jean would blame Robert, and Robert did not seem to like that because every time Jean blamed him, Jean's other toys would be individually ripped apart as a form of retaliation by Robert. More and more things would get broken and thrown across the house, only for Jean to continue blaming Robert, but of course, his parents didn't believe any of it, it wasn't rational. More time would go by and further unexplained situations would occur that would eventually catch the eyes of the public, whenever Jean was out and Robert was alone, school kids would see Robert sitting in a window and then disappear, and then reappear or move from one window to another window, a plumber working inside the home by himself reported hearing kids voices and laughing coming from the next room, confused the plumber would check on the room, only to find nothing there. When he would walk away he would hear things getting tossed across the room, and check on what he heard and he sees toys on the floor that were not there before. Jean's family and servants also reported they would hear Jean talking to Robert in his room, and hear a second voice that was not Jean's talking back. As more time went by, Jean's parents would hear things getting thrown against the walls of Jean's room in the middle of the night only to rush in the room to find a huge mess, with Jean crouched and hiding in a corner with Robert sitting straight up at the foot of Jean's bed. This would happen time and time again, with toys being hurled across the room and furniture overturned in the middle of the night, and every time Jean's parents ran in to investigate the matter, everything would stop just before they got there, with every time Robert pointing the finger and blaming Robert. Eventually, Jean became an adult moved out of the house and attended art school in New York and Chicago, leaving his best friend Robert behind with his parents. Jean would eventually make his way to Paris, France, and meets his new wife who he married in Paris and eventually, the two move back to Florida to begin their new life together. Jean was sure to stop by his parents' house to pick up a few things from his time growing up there, certainly not forgetting his best friend Robert the doll of course. Jean's love for Robert never seemed to change, because Jean built Robert a room in his attic, with his very own furniture, decorations, toys and even his own little teddy bear. Of course Jean's wife was not too keen on Jean's strange relationship with his doll that made her uncomfortable, and feel creeped out, she made Jean lock up Robert in the attic after any time he would visit him, this however did not make Robert very happy as he would somehow disappear, and then reappear on furniture throughout the house, he seemed to favor however the upstairs window, and would sit there looking outside the same way he would back at his old home, any time Jean would leave to go anywhere without him. In a whole new neighborhood, People who did not know Jean or Robert would begin to notice the doll would move from window to window, or sit looking out the window, and claims of Robert's black glass eyes following the passerby's movements as they would walk by, or passerby's would notice Robert in the window, and when they would look back for a second time the doll would be gone. Same claims as from his past neighborhood from different people, in his new neighborhood, yikes. Friends and visitors to the house would often report hearing little footsteps running across the attic floor or how the doll would be locked away and still managed to find a way to get in places he shouldn't have been, whether just appearing in the living room one second, and then vanishing the next, or appearing in a guest bedroom while someone was asleep in there, people have even claimed watching things being moved on their own in the house. Robert seemed to enjoy being mischievous for an audience. In 1974 Jean passed away and his wife only two years later. The couple's house was purchased by a lady named Myrtle, who owned the house and took care of Robert the doll for 20 years, after selling the house, Myrtle donated the doll to the Fort East Martello Museum in Key West, Florida, where he still lives to this day. When Myrtle donated Robert the doll, 
she did warn the museum that Robert was in fact haunted, and needed to be treated with care and respect, of course they treated Robert the doll with care, but not with the respect it demanded. They soon learned however to respect the doll after hearing children's voices or escaping its lock display to run around and knock priceless objects over, and then appear in places he wasn't meant to be in. Robert the doll is a prime attraction at the Fort East Martello Museum, and guests are warned to ask for permission before taking pictures, those who don't ask permission end up with their cameras dying, glitching, or pictures disappearing or sometimes even worse tragic outcomes for any form of disrespect to the doll, such as job loss, divorces, car wrecks, ruined finances, hair loss, you name it. Things happen to people so much so, that the museum receives letters from victims of Robert's wrath begging him to forgive them and to lift the curses placed on them. There are even letters asking Robert questions of their futures, and her fortunes, some asking him for relationship and life advice. Some have even asked Robert to place a curse on the people that wronged them. For now, Robert the doll just hangs out in his locked display, watching visitors come and go from the museum passing his judgments on if anyone deserves to be cursed, or not. Anyone is welcome to visit Robert the doll at Fort East Martello Museum in Key West, Florida. Be sure though that if you do visit Robert the doll, be respectful, you don't want to leave cursed.